thought since it's like three days before BDS's um, anniversary. So I thought I'd share some opinions and also what it's like to be of army that started being an army four years old. Anyway, a four year old army. So um, there are a lot of perks of being an army. I mean, like we get content, not just getting albums like every six to eight months, but also I don't remember the time BTS ever stopped working. <laughs> they really need rest. Um, we get tours every single year, 11 to 22 shows. We get run episodes weekly, Thursdays for people who bought to subscribe to the channel. Bangtan bombs that. releases every other day also other content like Bon Voyage, Burn the Stage, DVDs even though you don't really buy them people do upload it for you on the internet and being a fandom that's in that is the army also gives you a lot of comfort connection and just you can build a relationship in the fandom you can find people that in your in your country that are armies in your city that are armies in your school that are armies but but you can also find people across the globe across all ages race languages there is no barriers there's no rule or anything that says you must be something or you must require something to be an army because that is the beauty of being an army you we are a global fandom that literally comes from all different backgrounds all different cultures that just shares the same love for bts and i think that's the coolest concept Ever, like I get to ever experience during my youth and another thing that really makes me love being an army is the fact that I get to connect with people across the world through the messages that BTS has through their music and not just connect with them because of BTS, but also connect to them on a personal level. People start as strangers who turn to mutuals. That basically becomes your best friends, even. And to me, that's that's a really amazing. It feels like a miracle, or like it's just this. It's like heaven orchestrated it. It's really mind-boggling sometimes. Being in the army for, this is my fourth year now, almost my fifth. It's really, I feel so blessed to be in the fandom. And I've seen how the fandom shifted from just being the most hated <laughs> fandom into the most powerful fandom even of the world really before we were just the most hated fandom quote unquote on K-pop on the K-pop world and now we're the most powerful fandom in the world <laughs> and there are a lot of achievements that I'm super grateful and I'm super proud of but it doesn't mean that I didn't see any rough and downside in our fandom. Been seeing a lot of things recently on Twitter and two year old Stan Tweet Gracie would have like made an entire thread 
like getting all angry, typing in all caps, and like just saying like, you can't do this, you're not supposed to do this, respect, respect. And I think I still do that, like maybe one tweet or two, but um, I guess I wasn't, I'm not as rigorous about it. And there's a reason as to why I don't do that anymore. Uh, I've seen a lot of newer armies that does that and and that's okay but um, the reason why I don't do it is because I think the fandom has gone through the similar things that we have two, three years ago. I remember in 2016 there was a girl that it's replied underneath BTS the Yoongi's tweet with something inappropriate and the whole fandom was got angry and so we were basically tweeting replying like you're not supposed to do that or blah 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 and also the mobbing it, that happened today today is June 9th yeah, it also happened not in concert venues, but in airports. And those things happened two, three, a year ago. And as an army who has been with them since 2015, I just think that the more closer BTS are with us, the more respect we should have for them. And respect is a very general and broad word. And I understand that it means differently to different culture. But to me personally, I wouldn't want to cause harm to the person I love. And I love BTS, just like I love my family, just like I love ARMY. And I wouldn't want any of you to get hurt physically or emotionally. And I wouldn't want any of the members to get hurt. And if that means that I would have to step back and not see them, I would, because I I look back at all the hard work they put, all the efforts they give for me as an army, and if me taking a step back and not invading their privacy is a way to show my respect and love, then I will do it. The thing that bothers me is that people justify their action because of the trend of the your name Y dash N narrative. And I, I've seen it as a trend um, these days in it's funny at first because that's what they usually use it as a tap during a fanfic mission. But as time goes by, I realize actually how dangerous this concept is. Um, I'm gonna take off my hat. Um, our fandom is quite diverse in terms, not in, not just in terms of race and just where we're from, but also our ages. And you can't really define maturity based on age. Of course, people who are older would have a deeper understanding of what it means to not follow BTS and be a great of be um, a crazed mob or um, not 
not scream at them when they're in public or not follow them. But there are still people who are unable to control themselves. But I think what we need to do is to just remember and think, will my action portray my love for them? Is mobbing them, posting inappropriate things, sexualizing them, following them in private, on their private schedule, showcasing my love for them? Is going out of my way to try to get them to notice me will make them remember me in a good way or in a bad way because i would rather have them remember me as one of the person one of the people that cheer them loudly in the crowd and showed my love for them earnestly than be a bad memory for them because i followed them or um, I mobbed them, I touched them. That t- to me is not a good memory for them. There are other ways that you can show your love for them that doesn't require or doesn't have the need to touch them physically. That could cause pain and danger. To them. Today I saw a tweet about Jungkook being mobbed and it just kind of reminds me of the time he also experienced similar things in the airport and it makes me sad and disappointed but I also know that Aside from telling the people that what they did was wrong, I think it's important for us to know that, or to at least tell newer armies, remind them what it's like to be an army. We are not just regular fans, because BTS doesn't treat, don't treat us like regular fans. They treat us like families. The amount of trust and respect and love they have for us is something that I don't find in any other artist and I've been fans of other artists before but something I've never seen and so it worries me when ideas get distorted about how we should portray our love for them and I'm sure this is not the whole fandom. These are, these, these are just a small part of the fandom that we can improve. And there will always be bad apples inside the fandom. And I understand that completely. But I just hope that as you're approaching on our sixth anniversary with BTS, we can finally learn have respect and also show them that they can trust us because they trust us so much already let's not break that trust as Yungi once said the more closer you are to a person the more respect is needed because you love them And so I hope that older armies can remind the newer armies what it means to truly be an army, what truly protecting them, what truly loving them and supporting them means, and newer armies are willing to learn but also, and also change.
different and I'm just, and and I'm not saying only newer armies don't know how to properly love because I'm pretty sure there are older armies that still need a little reminder here and there and when it comes to being an army there is no J army, K army, French army, English army, US army we don't categorize them because as a whole we're just army BTS don't treat us differently because to them we're all just army to them and I that's why I don't think we should see our love for them as a competition either because every country has its culture has has its background has a distinct uniqueness to it that BTS love and yeah I just think as we still have three days before the anniversary I hope that we can show some love and learn how to just love each other respect and remember what it really means to be an army and that's not just consuming music or content and fangirling over photos it goes beyond that we stand not just a group of young people who sings but for a brighter tomorrow a bigger message and a change for the world and and it is because of that that we need to make sure we know what exactly it means to be an army so I guess that's all I got um yeah, I'll see you next time for my next video. Hey guys.